attempting to record it on two different formats, so we'll see what happens. It's an experiment. <laughs> All right. You guys can keep talking. <laughs> but everyone I mean, will hear our be... conversations on YouTube. Right? Right? I know, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just protecting myself. <laughs> In yeah. case I decide to run for office someday. <laughs> uh... Yeah, so it's just an interesting, it's interesting, you know, just to, to hear all of the discussion that's been going on. And so, um, yeah, interesting times. Just always, whenever I drive by GameStop, I'm always like, why is it still here? I know, it's true. I mean, and that's, They would, like, know, put a defibrillator to that, like, it's alive I, and it's not going. Right, right. <laughs> Yes. It's so true. And it's, it's just, I mean, it's just their, their business model, you know, it's a shifted business model. It happens, you know, it just, it happens all the time. <laughs> it just, it is what it is. Their model was, you know, physical games and now everything has changed to downloads and, you know. But what happened today really didn't have anything to do with them. Oh, no. Could have been anybody. It was just a random. Mm. There's so many companies that are you wonder why they're still in existence. They're so deeply underwater. Mm hmm Yep. It's interesting. It's just been fascinating watching. I'm I'm curious to know who Reddit's gonna target next. Mm -hmm. AMC. <laughs> just heard someone yell AMC. I think they already I did AMC, didn't they? Oh AMC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, AMC, I think, I thought I had seen something about AMC being next. And they're also uh, calling for Dogecoin, like, to pump Dogecoin, so I'm here for it. <laughs> we like cryptocurrencies, so. <laughs> We're fans.
Good evening, Kung Chung and Fisher. Hello. Can Hello. you hear me? Yes. Oh, great, 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 great. Okay, so, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, I'm a bit, few minutes late, sorry. Sorry for that, yeah. Okay, so, uh, so last time, what we're talking about, last time I think we talked about the, uh, can you state of me? Union. Sorry, that, union, the state of union. Union, okay, okay, good, good, yeah, yeah, that, okay, okay, mm, yeah. So now the today the, I will talk about the sixth Narupa Yoga. Six is a uh, yoga of the entering the corpse. Yoga of the entering corpse. This is totally in the Tibetan term. It called the Tongju. Tongju. Tongju is a Tibetan term. It's called the Tongju, and uh, generally that means the entering. Inter practice of the entering a uh, corpse. Now this tradition is a uh, completely lost. Then the practice lost, and uh, no one knows the how to do that. Only we know the theoretically is that uh, we have the some uh, theoretically we have some understanding about it. Practically, uh, no one knows that how to do that practice. Actually, the theory is about this practice. The Tongju or the entering the corpse practice is like that when in the certain cases when you cannot leave or when you cannot survive in the, this body, then you can exchanging the other's body. Exchanging the other's body is uh, like that uh, you have to find that that body or the corpse which is not which died by the naturally, not by the accident, naturally death. Naturally died the, that the person of that body of the person who died naturally, not accident, not having the accident. And uh, that body that the practice is that you practice the prunju or this practice to help your consciousness to enter into the another body. So another body and uh, this will help you to gain the more life and uh, gain the more lifespan and again the one new body, then you can again the practice the Dharma. So this is theoretically, now this is the theory of the six Naropa Yoga practice the called the entering the corpse. That is just that's a theory, but exactly the no one knows how to do that. No one knows and uh, it's really, this is not completely lost tradition. So now this is about this is the this is the story. This is a story about that uh, no one knows that how it lost, but there is a story, it's a ghost like that. It's a legendary story. Goes like that. There is the two uh, there is a two person, two person and uh, there's a two person and uh, they both know that this practice don't you enter in the dead body. The practice they know that practice. And uh, what they did is that uh, the one person, he entered into the body of the, his friend while that his friend was in the very deep sleep. Deep sleep entered into the, that friend's body. And uh, when the consciousness of the, his friends trying to enter into his own body could not enter that. So that's why the, now the, another, another friend Another friend of him thought that this practice will bring the lot of the harm for the human beings or human beings or the humanity. So that's why the they that that person and the decided to the not to teach this kind of the practice to the people. So this is just a saying story. There is no any uh, evidence or there is no any written script. This story you cannot find in any written script. This is just like a same story. But the reality and the truth, the fact is that this is no, no, no one knows how to do that practice. Okay, this is the now the one thing, the sixth Naropa Yoga. Okay, Tibetan term we call the Tongju. 
and the means that the yoga of the entering the corpse. Okay, this is a completely the lost. Okay, lost edition. Now we now what will we do is that now what will we do is that okay today that maybe I thought that now the how the six Narupa yoga how you have to start the practice them should be the system of the practice no systematic when you bring the systematic practice <clears throat> so when, when you bring the systematic yoga practice first <clears throat> first you have to start totally now we have the five practice we can do the practically we can practice that five practice that the first thing is that what you have to start is that you have to start with the uh, uh, first, you can start with that. Mm, uh, what do you call that? The po, uh, po, uh, po, uh, the consciousness transfer. Sorry, the consciousness transfer and practice. Consciousness transfer and practice. That is something that the consciousness transfer and practice. That what you have to do is that, that the, as I mentioned the before, it will take the one week to do the consciousness transfer and practice. At least you have to spend the five to six hours to practice. Then that is due. On the before you starting the consciousness transfer and practice, what will we say is that the uh, we are clean, cleansing the channels practice. That what you can do. Cleansing the channel practice. Cleansing the channel practice is as I mentioned before. We are having the uh, channels. Channels means uh, it's like uh, in the we in the Tibetan term it called the center nerve. Center nerve means exactly the central channel okay make a central channel when the central channel is a from your crown straight to it will go straight it start from the your crown and the, it goes straight to your body up till the your uh, private part Now, what we have to do is so we say the cleansing the cleansing the channels practice cleansing the channel practice is so what you have to do so what did i did i did i teach that before i, mm -hmm. I think a little bit but but not in detail Rinpoche. like a, okay, an okay. overview mm -hmm. you gave okay. us an overview mm -hmm. sorry mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe, okay, cleansing the channel practice, this is a very basic, basic for the consciousness transfer and practice. Consciousness transfer and practice, as I mentioned before, it takes the one week and the week and do some other time next time. Because when you are serious to do that, then I have to, we all have to be each other quite close by. Then I have to check day to day and know how the progress is going on. So today, maybe I will just do the basic, okay, the preliminary practice for the consciousness transfer. And that's what we call the cleansing the channel. Cleansing the channel is a very simple that what you have to do is you just meditate and visualize that the white like a channel, white like a straw from your crown to the up till your the private part. You just visualize there is a one uh, like a white straw or the white channel. Then what you have to do is you have to visualize that channel or the, that uh, like a tube is getting a bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. While it's getting bigger and you just realize that the yourself now inside that the white tube. Then again, you have to come back and the visualize that the, from the there's a channel from your crown to the up to the your prior part, you have to visualize that channel is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, bigger. Don't visualize that channel is getting smaller, okay? Don't shrink that channel, okay? Mm. So, yeah. Mm, mm, yeah so yeah mm. so you uh, yeah so you should not shrink or you should not visualize that the channel is getting smaller always you have to visualize the channel is getting bigger okay but i know that if i say so many times i don't think the channels get visualized to get channel is getting smaller no then definitely you will think that <laughs> so that is the when the i always used to say the one thing when the God told the Adam not to eat the apple. So Adam thought to eat the apple. If the God forced to Adam to eat the apple, I think Adam won't eat. So if the God forced to Adam to eat the apple, eat the apple then we say no, no, no. <laughs> so that is a, something very yeah, mind the complexity. No, 
So that's why now, yeah, okay, always think they're getting bigger and bigger, okay? I, uh, maybe I might be jumping out of the topic. So whenever you meditate, whenever you meditate, that's also very important that you should not rush it so much. When you're meditating, suddenly you think about the food or something like that. You know that you're getting the distracted. Then you should not resist too much. More you resist, you're pressuring the more to the, your mind. Then the meditation becomes very tough. When the food thoughts comes and the, you, you're trying to resist and the not to think, still it comes, let it come, okay? Let it come, let it come, okay? When you, more you, more you resist, what will happen is that the then mind will get lots of pressure in it. So don't get too much pressurize the mind. So that's why the, when you're meditating, when you're meditating, certainly like uh, your thoughts distracted and things about the food. And the, you, when you're aware that you are thinking about the food, what you have to do is uh, be aware, generate the awareness that what you are thinking. Okay, be generate the awareness and what you are thinking. And uh, then you take a little bit break, okay, that you have to do. Because this is the one big mistake most of meditators, when they are meditating, suddenly one of the, in the day-to-day -day life, lots of the negative thoughts comes in the mind. Some, certainly when your negative thoughts comes and you have to resist and not to think, when you push so much, then it will become the pressure, okay? Sometimes I'm, yeah, when we think a lot of, sometimes the negative thoughts will come. Whenever the negative thoughts comes, you, when you are aware that your negative thoughts are coming, be aware, be aware, generate the awareness, awareness physically and uh, mentally, whatever thoughts comes, let it come and the physically don't do anything. Through your speech, don't say anything. Just enjoy, just enjoy like you are having the show. It is something like all the negative thoughts comes in the mind. Just enjoy that and watch that, the whatever thoughts are arising in your mind. So, okay, this is the one thing. The, when your practice is getting a little better, then when you get distracted and when you get aware that you are get distracted, then it's very easy to just resist this old thought. So some for the sometimes beginner, it might be a little bit tough. Even the, when you meditate so long, sometimes when you're resisting, it's quite difficult to resist it's all the negative thoughts not to come in the mind. No? It is, sometimes it's challenging. Okay, so this is just like... Sorry, I jumped a little bit out of the topic. Yeah, so my main point is that when you are visualizing the channel, they're getting bigger. When you suddenly, the channel started to get shrink, no, don't resist it, okay? Just take a little bit break, uh, just take a little bit break, okay? So, yeah, so then the, what you do, you have to do that you are get visualize that your channel is get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now here, the one good effect will come that which this meditation will makes your makes your memory or the makes your the I mean the your consciousness or the make your the wind channel I should say the wind channel or the channel will get more it will cleanse your channels and the channels so when you're cleansing the channel is something like that you when your channels is cleansed then when you receive the more positive energy that you can receive it more when you receive the positive energy more easily blessings more easily the receiving the okay so as I told you before, when you're meditating, last time I mentioned it, when you're meditating, when you're visualizing the blessings form of the white lights comes and the entering into the, your body, you know, entering into your body, when you did the entering into your body, when you visualize that, you no, know, entering into the, your body. When you're entering into the, your body and the, when, you're, when you're meditating, the cleansing the channels, then the meditation or the positive energy or the blessing, you can, uh, you can just absorb the much, I mean, the absorb or get much, uh, uh, absorb it much uh, faster. Okay, the blessing. This is the cleansing the channel practice. Okay, then the second thing is that to do with last time did we? Um, I'm not so sure that that. Uh, okay, um, okay. Last time. Okay, this is the one meditation. Okay, so okay, this is the cleansing the channel. Okay, number one that you have to do. Now the second thing is that uh, today the second thing is that generally when you're practicing the dharma. Sometimes the Dharma practices that also you have to recall the uh, removing the obstacles or that we will purifying the negative energy surrounding to you. Okay, purifying the negative surrounding to you. That the practice of what you have to do is that the, you just have to meditate and the visualize the syllables. Hum, hum, you know the, how to write the home. Syllables home. This one. Hello. 
Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I'm trying to search the script, the home script, okay? Oh. Okay, maybe I'll write down and see. My handwriting is not that good. Eh? The home character six strokes, right? Uh, stroke, I, I'm not very sure how many strokes it has. Okay, this is like this one. Okay, can you see? Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. This is the home. So what you, okay, later on, maybe you can find that in the internet, okay? What you have to do is you just have to visualize the syllabus home, center of the, your heart, okay? Center of the, your heart, home. And uh, then the, what you have to do, then from your uh, home and uh, then, what you have to say is that, that the whom, whom. When you're saying the whom, whom, just visualize that from that whom. Uh, that whom, visualize that the another whom is coming out of the, that whom, okay? The whom color will be the blue color whom, okay? Blue color whom. And the visualize that the blue color whom and the, that just like a, shoot like a missile, okay? Shooting like a missile and the, that whom, just when you shoot that the whom, and uh, destroying the whole the environment, okay, house, building, whatever. And the later on, whom comes back under it destroyed the, your own the body, some body. And the visualize that the very empty, everything becomes totally empty. This practice will helping the two things. When the whom comes back, the destroying the your body, that will help you to uh, uh, destroy your own attachment because we are the so attached to the ourselves body, so very much attached. Sometimes when you are visualizing that the whom destroying the yourself, it was not, not easy. Actually, when the whom's that the syllabus come, the destroying, when you visualize that destroying the your body, it won't destroy the your body at all. But we feel the uneasy because of the attachment. We are so attached to the self. So that's why the sometimes is that we are not knowing that the because of the this self attachment, it creates a lot of the I mean the unhappiness and the problem, no self-attachment. So that's why the, what you have to do, so that, that is one reason. Second reason is this also clears the, all the negative energy. So visualize the home and uh, you have to say home, home. Then visualize the one home, blue homes comes out of the center home and uh, like a missile and you shoot the missile and uh, destroy the whole the environment and the houses and the whatever. Then finally it comes back and the destroy the, your own body. Then you would have to visualize the days and nothing, yourself is nothing, only the syllabus home, okay? Just visualizing that is a totally coming in the empty, okay? Am I clear? Yeah? Yes. Am I clear? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. So uh, that thing. I remember the one thing. I was, I think that was in the Hong Kong. I think Hong Kong. So I was giving the teaching and uh, I told the visualize this one of the person whom you really dislike in front of the you, then then visualize that you know the giving and taking practice, no? So then the you just inhale the, they are the suffering and exhale and when you give your own happiness to that person. So one lady told her, impossible. Whenever she thinks the person whom she dislikes, then make itself angry and she cannot control that. <laughs> So this is the, normally, even the, they cannot think about a person whom they dislike. Suddenly they generate a lot of the negative thoughts and the emotions. Negative thoughts. And, because this is a, something that, the, because of that is also due to the wrong, I always say that that is a wrong practice. Person whom you dislike, then you think a lot of the negative points of that person, a lot of the negative things, and the, you think that again and again, then you generate the, your anger more and more strong. So that's why that now the, what we are doing is that we are just also always we too attached to the self. Attach and the loving the self and the attaching self is a total big difference. So that's why the, in the Buddhism point of what we say, the love and the attachment, totally different, two different things. I, I, I will give you the one example. Normally, morning in the sometimes I think the multi, Moiti and the coffee, I don't have any preference. I don't have any preference. Sometimes I drink, it depends on the moods and the conditions and things. Yeah, sometimes I drink milk tea, sometimes I drink the coffee. 
So one time, that is in the South India quite long back, one time in the morning, we are outside and we are in the restaurant and I asked my student to get me the coffee, get me the coffee. So that morning, they, he, he could not get, I think he misunderstood me and he got me the tea. So that morning, I have a very strong attachment to the coffee, to drink the coffee. When he bring the tea, that tea is a, such a horrible. Actually, tea is not the bad at all. Because my attachment to the coffee is so strong and I could not enjoy the tea at all. That the attachment. So when you have the very strong attachment to the apple, you cannot eat the orange or anything. You won't find any option. Only that. That's the attachment. Love is not like that. When you love the coffee, love the tea, and when you love the tea, even you don't get the tea, still you can enjoy the coffee when you get the coffee. So my point is love is attachment, okay? So that's why in the Buddhism always we say that we encourage the love. Love yourself, love others. That's very nice, not to get attached. So when you get attached to the someone, then slowly you will think to possess that person. Then slowly you will forget the welfare or the happiness of the, that person. Both now you're attached. When you're attached to someone, that person have to act or the do exactly that the what you want. So when you cannot meet your expectation, then the problems comes. No, then the problems comes. So because of the now your expectation, because of the attachment, the expectation, the everything comes. When you love someone, you will always love someone. Then you will always think that they are the, their happiness, their the. I um, you will keep the dear happiness as a priority. So that is the something very, I mean, some, because of the sometimes when a very strong attachment comes, so then you will forget that the dear happiness and the dear welfare. So it is not, it is the difference, the basic difference with love and attachment, okay? So that is the love and attachment difference, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so that's why the one thing, yeah, so that's why the, what I'm saying is that when you're meditating, visualize the homes coming and the destroying the whole your body. That does help you to reduce the, your attachment for the yourself, okay? Attachment, okay? So that's why the visualize and the destroy the whole your body thing, there is no nothing, okay? Totally empty, only the home, okay? So yeah, that is the, okay, that is the one practice. Second purpose of the, this visualizing the home and the destroying the whole environment, it will help to uh cleans the negative energy of the external negative energy okay external negative energy it will help you to cleanse okay visualize the homes and the then then you have to say home 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 when you're saying the home just visualize the one the home is coming out of the center home and it destroying the whole of the environment okay enjoy the whole environment again it dissolving back to the center home okay am i clear of the, the practice meditation hmm? am i clear Okay. I right, quick question. Um, what if I'm really, what if I'm really angry at someone else, and I'm feeling uh, that uh, I want to destroy the environment? Do I, do I avoid this practice um, if I'm feeling angry? I Does see. I see. I see. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you're feeling angry, a few things you have to do. Okay. If you're feeling the angry, number one is that the normally when you get angry to someone, no. Okay, first thing is that whenever you get angry, first thing is that the, you just inhale or exhale or try to focus on your breath, okay? That is the first thing what you have to do. Inhale or exhale, the first thing. Inhale or exhale and the focus on your breath, okay? Focus on your breath. That is the first thing, number one, what you have to do. Second thing is that anger is a something that I'm, anger is something that day to day you always have to keep reminding yourself that the Whoever generate the anger, he or she never feel, feel the peace and the happiness, okay? That you have to remind yourself all the time. All the time that the, see the negative points of the anger. Think that, the, okay, so whenever you generate the anger, whenever you generate the anger, and the, then you think that the, whenever you generate the anger, uh, he or she never experience the peace and happiness. That That is a very nice sentence in the... In the in the Bodhisattva Avatar, which are one textbook. And like that, you have to always remind yourself the negative sides of the anger, number two, okay? Number three is that, that the most important thing is that when you generate the anger to someone and that you shout or you fight someone, once you, once you, later on that, you have to always look back. 
how do you feel when you generate anger and they shout to somebody you feel i'm sure that you will feel terribly sorry for yourself and other no you have to look back and you have to look back and from that you what you have to decide is that your determination is very important that you have to determine that i will not get angry so every morning you have to make the determination or the promise that the today i will not get angry angry i will be live happy i will live happy that you have the every morning you are just in the, just for the one day only for today i will not get angry tomorrow again you have to think that the, tomorrow again you have to think that just for the one day i will not get angry okay these are the practices and there is another practice that now what you can do is a generally you are the one person you always get angry with that person okay when you get angry with that person so what you have to do is you have to meditate and mentally you meditate and you have to think that visualize that you are offering that person to the buddha okay mentally think that now you offer that person to the buddha okay and you don't have to tell that person that you offer him or her to the buddha okay okay mentally you just visualize and think that offer to the buddha okay offer that buddha to buddha or okay sometime one time i was teach that practice and uh, then the people told me that now the lot of the lot of the women they offer the, their husband to the buddha <laughs> <laughs> this is something like mentally you're offering okay when you're mentally you offering to someone to the buddha because the, sometimes the what is happening is <clears throat> that the anger is a ticket by the because of the you are having the because of the sometimes that the because you see the all the negative points of the things no negative points things one time sometime in my home my mother complained a lot about my father so that's quite long back i asked my mother what do you see the positive quality in my father so my mother told me so funny thing that uh, she told me he don't have any positive quality <laughs> that, that is a, normally i know that sometimes that that, that happens that no sometimes that they, he might have a lot of positive quality he have no but uh, sometimes that when you get with the state of the anger you cannot see the any positive qualities no so that's why the firstly offering the buddha then person whom you are getting the anger if you are in the family in the close member if you are very close to some then you start to see the positive qualities of that person okay when you also the positive qualities you try to find the positive qualities okay positive qualities of the, that person when you one time when you see the positive qualities when you look from the that side of the that person then definitely you will generate the more admirations and the love toward that person right now the anger comes mainly because of the that negative what you are seeing that's negative side of the that person no that's why the, we are generating the anger if if that person okay so that that is the day to day what you have to do is that okay offer that person to the buddha mentally offer that one person to the buddha again and again offer to the buddha okay and the pray to the buddha or the whoever you could pray and the, pray that bless that person get better or the whatever and the, then the another second step to see the positive qualities try to find the positive qualities okay okay so i'm sure that you can find the positive qualities for the every human they have the positive qualities no positive qualities okay i will tell you the one thing okay very funny but so very true okay uh, that was in the uh, one time in the malaysia so i don't know the malaysia weather is or like that normally i take a sleep for the 8 hours 8 hours and uh, malaysia i don't know so because of the weather or something like that i fall more than 10 10 30 hours for fall asleep and there is a one person he was telling me that which house you are sleep wow i sleep a lot i sleep at 10 or 10 10 and 10 10 and that 10 and half hours i sleep 10 hours he told me wow rumbuchi you are the great master so sleeping doesn't make the grand master at all it doesn't make it. but the, he sees the positive qualities because he could not sleep that well <laughs> when the person could not sleep that person he will see the person who sleep the well that's a very quality he admired <laughs> so this is some that is a thing so that is the what i'm trying to say is that the, everyone have the positive quality if you look from the i mean the positive way you know and the, if you if you look in a very different way you can see the whole the positive i mean the qualities and every human have positive quality that what you have to do okay to sorry so 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 uh, am i am i uh, did you all get my point yeah okay yes. okay so that you have to do okay yeah okay okay so so that thing 
Okay, then the other thing is that the important thing is, as I mentioned, when you generate the anger, so it's a very important to just concentrate on your breath, okay? Because when you talk about the anger, I really remember the, my childhood that my childhood, uh, I mean, my exam, once I was also very short tempered when I was, I mean, the very young, no, teenage times. So everyone, maybe, I mean, the many of the because I also very get angry very easily, and uh, yeah, that's a very short tempered. And slowly I practice and practice, really, it helped me really a lot, and I can overcome that anger, no. So, this is, uh, I'm sure that everyone can do that, everyone can do that. Because sometimes maybe I got short tempered because sometimes in the home when I was a kid, my father was also a little bit short tempered, no? Short tempered, and he get angry and sometimes he break the glass and do something. Maybe that might be fake. I'm not blaming. <laughs> but that is enough. Um, but the, anyway, then the monastery, then the study, and the, all those things. Really. But the, my point is that the really, after the practicing, it really helped me a lot. So practice, and so that's why the, these are the practices when you generate the anger. So you can just inhale or exhale the breath and the focus on your breath or like that. Okay, this is the most important tool. And the second important thing is always think about the negative sides of the anger. Okay, negative points of the anger. That's really very important. When you see the negative sides of the anger, and whenever you generate anger, you will feel, oh, you are not doing the right things. You are not doing the right thing. Then you can yeah, easily you can yeah, control the anger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I ask so, one more thing? So, sorry about okay. the the um, destroying practice. I just want to make sure that I'd be doing it from a state of mind that was not violent. I guess that was the intent of my my first question too. Is that you know I wouldn't want to use it to, uh, I guess, uh, increase my own anger. And so, what kind of state of mind or what, when would we use that practice? I see. Sorry. So, can you just repeat the, your question? Actually, I got it. I want to make sure that. That the, your question. Can you repeat it again? Yes. So, um, what sort of state of mind would we want to mm -hmm. uh, be coming from when using that practice of of the hung destroying the environment? Because I would want to make sure that I wasn't using that when I was in a state of mind of anger or wanting to mm -hmm. inc increase my own violence. I guess I don't want to do that. So you don't want to, so, uh, yeah, so what's your question now? Um, I suppose just when would we use that destroying practice, the, the home practice, um, sending out and destroying the environment? I see. Okay. Mm. Uh, okay, now that, okay, now things like that, okay. Mm, this you can do anytime, the destroy the negative, the cleansing, the negative, that you can do anytime, okay, anytime. So now the practice, there are a lot of the different, different practice, okay. This is just like the cleansing the energy, okay. So another practice, what I mentioned, the controlling the anger, so that is a very important practice, okay. That if you, you can carry on the everyday, that's a very important, controlling the anger, no. So one thing is a very, mm, now, Normally, people always they try to measure the anxiety level. No, there is a questionnaire paper. They make us. I mean, the psychiatrist, doctors, and they have the one. I mean, the magically they have the one questionnaire. They can just you have to fill up that, and then they will measure your anxiety level. No, consider that called the, as a measuring the anxiety level. But I don't think that. Uh, I, 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 I. But my point is that the, it's a very important to the measure the our anger level. That's a more important. That is a more important than the anxiety level because the anger is a what what you see that the, once you get the angry, it will destroy not only your happiness, it will destroy the whole of the, your family's happiness, all of the others' happiness. It will destroy. It's a really very bad the anger. So that's why the so it's it's also that's what, it's also very important to understand the your anger level because right now the, we all know that your sugar label and the blood pressure label that's all you know it's the same thing that you should know the your anger label also you have to see that whether label is crossing the borderline or not sometimes the we are, our anger cross the lot border label and it will harm a lot for us so that's why the, every time the, it's very important to keep the anger under the control like a sugar label and the blood pressure label okay that's a very important so anger is a something that's not that difficult. I'm, I can assure you in the within the two or three weeks, you can see the difference, okay? So within the two or three weeks, if you fix it, you can see that your anger can, you can control it. That's very much, it's a very, I mean, the, not that difficult. 
And I've yeah, been okay. fighting for years with that Rinpoche. No, it's very, very hard to control anger. Very, very hard. Okay, maybe I will teach you. Okay, I wrote the one book called The Anger Management or something like that book. So that's in the Chinese language. So maybe we'll have a one next session. Okay, anger, how do you have to control? I will teach you the how the sessions. Okay, then okay. yeah. Okay, Thank so you. then yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that is not the okay. So we'll have a next session. Maybe I will have that. Okay, anger management meditation. Okay, that's a, some very simple steps you have to follow, and uh, you have to do that. Okay, I'm sure that it can. Okay, you can do that. Okay, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Okay, now that that is now we'll come back to the points of uh, that. Okay, the cleansing the channel. Okay, that is the for that. Okay. Uh, cleansing journal for the preliminary practice for the uh, or preliminary practice for the consciousness transference. Okay, number one. Okay, number two. Now the number two is that that the after the consciousness transference practice, then you can go for the practice for the uh, practice of the uh, practice uh, inner heat meditation. Okay, tum uh, inner heat. Inner heat meditation, okay. Inner heat meditation, or you can call the yoga or the psychic heat, whatever, okay. That you should come to the second time or oh, second, okay. Then the then also that the most here is the, as I mentioned before. Then the then here that the then the illusory body practice, no illusory body practice, illusory body practice, and the uh, more. Inclusive body practice and the dream yoga practice, then it comes the later. Because the dream yoga practice is, as I mentioned before, it's a very difficult. Because the first of all, that the, we don't dream. Many times we don't dream. Even we dreams, we cannot remember. In the dream state, again, we have to realize that we are dreaming. So that's a very challenging. So that's a very challenging and. Uh, yeah, so that's a dream yoga, and uh, <clears throat> then these are the how the steps of the how you start with the six Naropa yoga practices, six Naropa yoga practices, and uh, the at last you have to keep the that will be uh, illusory body. The practice of the illusory body will be shoot with at last. That is the most, I mean, the advance for the advanced practice. For the advanced practice and the illusory body practice is for only for the very advanced practitioner. It will come at last the practice, last practice. Okay, okay. Thank you. So I will leave for the some question on the session and the uh, issue. Maybe next session I will talk about that anger management. Okay, that okay. practice. Actually, uh, I wrote the book that two or three years. I mean, more than three or four years back, I wrote the book about it. And then that's in the Chinese language. Oh. I published that. Anger management and it become a very good bestseller in the chinese speaking countries yeah so really? then main yeah yeah the next time you're scheduled to speak is losar so do you want to change the uh, week i see losar so maybe we'll do that the second day okay next session maybe we'll do in the uh, my time it will be losar no friday yeah. so maybe i'll do the saturday that will saturday? be your the losar no? uh yeah so we're going to celebrate losar on friday so Saturday would be good. Sorry. Yeah, just let us know because we're going to celebrate Losar on Friday. No. So, whatever works. Yes, yes. Uh, maybe Losar and uh, that uh, for it will be the. That will, what will we do is the one thing. Uh, for me, it will be the Saturday morning, and for you, it will be the Friday night, isn't it? Yeah, Friday night is Losar for us. Okay, good. So in the next session, we'll try and change that not on the your Thursday. Normally, you're having on Thursday night. Am I right? Yes. Right. Yeah, okay. Next session that we will do in the Friday night. That's when we're actually doing our practices for Losar. Is that Friday night, the 12th of uh, February? Uh, sorry, I didn't get your question. Sorry. Uh, Maybe can I just send you an email to schedule? Okay, fine. Yeah, okay. okay. no, sure. Thank you. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. So my point is that issue. My point is that you get so normally you are having the session on the Thursday night. On the that day we can have it on the 
uh, Friday night. So you all can celebrate the Losa. We can celebrate the Losa together on the line, online. Okay, yeah. anyway, okay. No. Yeah, anyway, you have any questions? Now I'll leave for the question answer sessions, yeah. So you said, Rinpoche, it's Greg, you said the breath practice is the best mm -hmm. beginning for anger. Is it, yes. to, again, just to stop the thought and to focus on the breath or to recognize the thought and to redirect it to a positive thought through breath? Yeah, it's more like a redirecting. 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 Because the redirecting the distracting. Because the anchor is a such a like that, that uh, first I will tell you the one story. There is a one person. He used to get the angry whenever he go to the office to his boss. Whenever he see the, his boss, he always get angry all the time. Then he went to consult with the one psychiatrist. The psychiatrist doctor told me that, uh, okay, I will give you the one uh, method or I will teach you the one, I mean, the technique or the practice that will help you to reduce the anger. So then the psychiatrist doctor told him that you should not suppress the, your anger. Always let it, when you more you suppress, the anger will explode. So you have to take out the anger. For that, what you have to do is that you have to just get the, your boss picture, keep that on the, in your house, in your house, the, your boss picture. Whenever, when you go to the office, Take out your shoe and uh, hit the shoe three times on the face of that picture. That picture, your boss picture, three times a morning, three times a evening, daily, religiously. Do that. So after the months later, again, he came back to the psychiatrist. Then the psychiatrist's house is going on. He said, very nice. Now it really helped me. I'm taking out my anger whenever I see the boss picture in my room. I'm, I'm taking my shoes and I hit three times a morning and the three times an evening daily religiously it helped me but i had another problem now started the second doctor told him that now the what problem so he told that whenever i go to the office or whenever i see that my boss in my office my hands goes towards my shoe all the time <laughs> so something so this is something like that when you are seeing the anger first thing is that when you generate the anger that incident will be stuck in your mind when someone did something that what you don't want or someone says something that what you don't want that vote that incident or the, that action will be will be in your mind it will be more when so that's why the when you you will focus on that so you have to distract that when someone says a very hard show towards you that vote will always comes in your mind that's why you generate the anger so you have to get distracted very long back, that's a 20 or years back, that is a one time in the South India, the monastery, one of the small, uh, small kid lama, he was not studying properly. Then I asked him to come to my room. He came to my room and I scolded him. I used a very hard food. In the Tibetan, we say the donkey is a very hard food, like small kid. I use your donkey, you're not like two or three minutes, I use a very hard food. Then mm -hmm. after two or three minutes later, I asked him, did you get angry? The small kid Lama don't know, he didn't get angry. I was so surprised, I asked him, I use a very hard word towards you, why you didn't get angry? He told me very interesting, he was not listening to my words at all. He was thinking a game, cricket game. <laughs> <laughs> is there something very interesting that I learned from this? That is the one really, when you pay too much attention, more than the you should be these harsh words, unnatural things, that generate the anger. So that's why the first thing is that you have to distract. Inhale to exhale your breath and that you have to get distracted. That itself will be reduce the certain amounts of the anger very, very, I mean, the easily. That is the what you have to do. So that's why I'm saying that the yeah, breath, that is the one thing. Second thing is the anger is like a something like a, when you get anger one time, two times, then you will get like a easier to get angry. So I should say it is a negative emotion or you are getting addicted with a negative emotion. Actually, we all, only we know the addiction of the cigarette, addiction of the alcohol, addiction of cocaine. But we are the more get addicted with the, these negative emotions. So that's why we generate them more very easily, easily, easily. That's why we are getting like addicted. So that's why the, what you have to do. The second thing is that, that the, 
when you generate the anger and the, you have to distract the mind. When you after the distracting mind, then also you have to. Then the second thing is that that the, you always have to think that the, when you generate the anger, that will affect the uh, affect the self. Most important that whenever you generate anger, it will hurt you the most. Mm. It will hurt you most. So that's why you have to think that. Okay. Okay. So more detail. I will talk later on that program. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Tashetele. Yeah.